Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, today we are playing with the Huda Beauty New Nude Palette. I'm so obsessed with this. It's so beautiful. The colors blend so well. They're so pigmented. So I just wanted to go ahead and do a tutorial, something colorful, glittery, sparkly, girly, you know. This was actually super easy to achieve, nothing too crazy, and I think it's still pretty wearable with being nice and glam. Before we get started, I just want to tell you guys, be sure that you're subscribed to my channel and following me on Instagram and Twitter because we are getting ready to do a big holiday giveaway so stay tuned for those details and without further ado let's go ahead and play with some makeup all right guys we're gonna jump right into it I'm taking my Mac paint pot in soft ochre and I'm just going to go ahead and prime my eyelids just evenly spreading this all over to give a nice solid base. This is going to cancel out any redness or discoloration I have on the eyelid so that way the colors look super pigmented and true to color. Now out of the new nude palette I'm taking the shade Bare and I'm just going to set that paint pot so nothing is tacky. Now taking two pieces of scotch tape I'm going to place these on the outer corner of my eye to give us that nice guideline to get a sharp line and kind of that cat eye effect. It'll just make it so much easier in the long run. On a nice fluffy crease brush I'm going to go in with this light pink shade called Secret and I'm just going to roughly place this in my crease as a transition shade using windshield wiper motions going from inner to outer corner. This can be kind of sloppy because we're going to blend it out. Um, so just make sure that you're getting it from inner to outer corner because we're going to cut the crease later and we want that really defined crease. Now taking this nice nude shade here called Play, I'm going to actually take this above the transition shade all the way up to my brow bone and this is just going to diffuse any lines and ensure that everything blends really seamlessly and you get that nice ombre fade. Going into the shade Teddy, which is just a little bit of a darker pink, I'm going to apply this in the crease just to go ahead and deepen it up. Taking this purpley shade called Tease here, I'm going to apply that in my outer corner. Again, just deepening up the crease. This whole look is really about taking multiple colors and going from light to dark and just really building on them, blending, building, blending, and adding more pigment as we go along. I'm just continuing to pack that in the outer corner and then drag it in with circular motion. So I pack it against the tape and then I pull it into the inner corner. Same thing on the other side. You basically just repeat this process until you get the desired blend and darkness. Taking the two shades here, Love, Bite, and Raw, kind of a red shade and a more purple shade, I'm going to continue adding color into the outer V of my eye and just blending it inward. I'm keeping this one kind of on the outer half of my eye because I don't want it to look bruised or too dark on my inner corner. So just be really careful with these purpley red shades so that it doesn't look too bruised. Dipping into my Natasha Denona All Matte Safari Palette, I'm taking this dark brown purple shade called Voodoo and I'm just packing this on the outer corner. I really wanted to deepen up the look and I just didn't have a shade dark enough in the Huda Beauty New Nude Palette. So I'm just taking this matte purpley brown shade and I'm just going to continue to place that in the outer corner, just adding a little bit of depth and kind of smoking it out till we get that desired darkness. And now I'm just taking a clean blending brush and blending all of those shades together. Now that all of our blending is done, I'm going to go ahead and remove the tape and I'm getting ready to cut my crease here with some Tarte Shape Tape. This is my favorite because it's so full coverage, it will literally cover any pigment you have on your eyelid. So I'm just taking it on the back of my hand with a really small definer brush. I believe it's a lip brush. And my favorite technique to do with this is to place the concealer on the inner corner, maybe the inner third of my eye, and just look up and it will transfer into the crease up until the point where you should be cutting your crease for your eye shape. And I'm just going to follow that through and even out that line and repeat on the other side about halfway. Taking the shade Bare, again, this is just a bone shade. I'm setting that concealer to make sure that nothing is tacky or going to crease. 
Taking the shade Voodoo, I'm going to pack this on the outer fourth of my eye again just because we lost some of that darkness when applying the concealer. Going in with the shade Fantasy, a really pretty rosy pink, I'm just patting this on my eyelid. And I found with these kind of chunky, glitterier shades, to get the most pigment and metallic look, it works best with your fingers if you just use kind of a patting motion. It also helps with the blending and ensures all of the pigment and the glitter stays in one place so you don't get any fallout. On the inner third of my eye, I'm taking the shade Daydream, which is just kind of a baby pink color, and applying that, blending it backwards into that fantasy shade. I'm just taking whatever's left on that blending brush that I use to apply Voodoo and just blending that in with the sparkly shade so everything looks really seamless. And now I'm just repeating the exact same steps on the other side. So you should have a matte dark purple going into a purpley maroon glitter shade and then moving into kind of a baby pink shimmer shade on your eyelid. Taking the Urban Decay Eyeliner in the shade Lovesick, I'm just going to put this on my waterline. It's a really pretty shimmery purple color that goes really well with the eyeshadow. And I found this just wasn't deep enough or smoky enough for me, so I'm adding a little bit of black right on top. Next, I'm just taking my usual Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and applying a healthy coat of this. For false lashes, I went with a pair of Velour lashes in the style Fluff and Dolled Up. Moving on to our face makeup, I'm taking this Becca Illuminating Backlight Primer and just applying this all over my face evenly for a really healthy glow. So I actually just took this card that came in the eyeshadow palette and I'm mixing some Cover FX Glow Drops and my YSL All Hours Foundation just again to provide a really dewy, glowy base. And I'm just swirling all of those together and applying this to my face with a brush. And then I'm going to take a damp Morphe sponge, as you can see here, and I'm just going to blend that out evenly, ensuring that I drag it down my neck, up to my hairline, over my ears, just to create a really nice, solid base. Taking my KKW Beauty Concealer, I'm just going to apply this under my eyes in kind of a triangular shape. And then I'm also going to use this to highlight the high points of my face. So I'm just going to take that on my forehead, down my nose, on my cupid's bow, and on my chin, basically all the places that I want to appear high. Taking my Morphe sponge again and being very careful around this eye area, I'm just going to blend all of that out. Now I'm going to go into the KKW powder in the shade 1, kind of a banana shade, and I'm actually taking this on a wet sponge, and I'm just going to set all of the places that I concealed, including my under eyes, my forehead, my cupid's bow, and my chin again. This is really going to help brighten up our highlight. Now I'm taking my Laura Mercier Glow Loose Setting Powder. This is not the translucent one, this is the glow one, and I'm going to just take that on a really fluffy brush and pat that all into my foundation just to set it and give again a really nice pretty glow. I've been really into dewy healthy skin lately. Taking my Hoola bronzer I'm going to take that on kind of a more precise brush and I'm going to use this to carve out my cheekbones tapping off any excess powder. I like this because it gives a really sharp line without me having to go back and clean up bake. Now I'm going to take a bigger bronzer brush and just blend all of that out, make sure there's no harsh lines. And I'm also going to take that onto my forehead and really bronze that up. Now I'm going to contour my nose using an angle brush and again the same Hoola bronzer. If you ever find that your nose contour is a little bit too harsh, you can always go back in with a damp beauty sponge and just tap off the excess. For blush, I'm going in with this ambient lighting one from... Hourglass in the shade Mood Exposure. It's a really pretty mauve color. These lay so beautifully on all skin types and they are such a finely milled powder. They look super natural. I just really, really love this product. I'm taking that on kind of a denser blush brush. For eyebrows, I went in with my ABH Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Ash Brown. To finish off our eyes, I'm taking the purple shade Tease and just using this to smoke out that lower lash line and set that eyeliner. Now I'm just taking a clean blending brush and buffing that out. For lower lash line mascara, I'm taking my Benefit Bad Gal Bang. This adds so much length and just really defines your bottom lashes. It's my favorite to use for that purpose. I love it. Spraying a tiny brush with some Fix Plus, I'm going to dip into the shade Crave. It's a really sparkly champagne color, and I'm just going to pop this in my inner corner 
just to make us look a little bit more awake and give us a really nice punch of color there. I'm just dipping into that shade wet side down and packing that on and then I'm going to take whatever is remaining on the brush and just run this underneath my brow bone. To set my face I'm using the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. For highlight, I'm going into my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Soft and Gentle. It's just a really pretty pink pearlescent neutral toned highlight. And I'm just taking this on the tops of my cheekbones with my Anastasia A23 highlighting brush. And I'm just dispersing that all over the high points. And I'm going to take that on my nose and my Cupid's bow as well. To finish off this look, I'm going in with a Lime Crime Matte Velveteen Liquid Lipstick in the shade Teddy Bear. It's kind of a purpley pink mauve shade. It matches this look perfectly. And there you have it, you guys. This is the finished look. All right, guys, so this is going to conclude the look. Um, I actually really, really love how this came out. I would definitely wear this again. This palette is super, super versatile. You can do so much with it. It's so pretty. It's colorful but neutral. I'm just so obsessed with it. This was definitely a home run for me. So if you haven't already, please go ahead and like and subscribe before you go. And make sure that you follow me on Instagram and follow me on Twitter because we will be doing a holiday giveaway very, very soon. So you don't want to miss out on that. And thank you again so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Just fine before I met you I drink too much and that's an issue But I'm okay